Karibu tena mpenzi mtazamaji wa KBC Channel 1. Na asante kuendelea kutizama kipindi unachokienzi cha mkulima. Kipindi kinachokujuza mbinu mbalimbali mbali za kilimo na jinsi ya kufanya kilimo biashara. Ngombe wa maziwa umfaidi si mfugaji tu bali pia wanunuzi. Unaweza ukaongeza maziwa yako dhamana ukajipatia maziwa ya mtindi au cheese. Lakini ngombe wa maziwa mjini ufugwa vipi? Kikosi chetu kilizuru eneo la madhare na kujionea jinsi kijana barubaro anavo tumia mda wake vizuri kwa ufugaji. Karibu kujione. Ngombe wa maziwa ni ngombe ambao wao ufugwa lengo lao kuu likiwa ni kutoa kiasi kikubwa cha maziwa peke yake. Hivyo kudumisha hilo lazima wapate mbegu nzuri na kuwa na ndama ili kusaidia utoaji maziwa mengi. Ngombe wa nyama tu wanaweza kuishi hadi miaka 20 lakini ngombe wa maziwa ni vigumu kuishi miaka mingi hivyo. Kilimo mjini kimefaidi vijana wengi haswa wakati huu ambao kupata ajira maofisini ni vigumu. Edwin ni mmoja wa vijana hao anayefurahia ufugaji hapa Madhare. Mimi nimelelewa huku nimegrow ya huku from 1997 nimesoma nikaenda Seko College huku. So nilikuwa kwenye nimelelewa nimelelewa kwa Children's Home. So I used to kulisha ngombe za Children's Home. So hapo nikapata interest. Then being grow kigrow ya huku unajua una notice shida za watu. So nika notice watu wako in need of milk quality milk which is a little bit cheaper than the one they you know so kwa duka yenye ko pasteurize metal of to mob so nikapata hiyo idea ya at least ukikuja na maziwa iko strong quality then iko bei iko chini watu watu wataweza ku afford na kununua at least utakuwa at least ume raise standard ya watu wanaishi huku malnutrition na food food security at least ume come sort kitu kidogo the way the smallest the smallest way you can Kama ujuavyo mjini Nairobi ni vigumu kupata shamba. Ardhi iliyoko kama si majumba ni shule. Uwanja wa watoto wa kuchezea ama masoko. Hivyo kuwa vigumu kuwa na kipande kidogo cha ufugaji ama kulima. Huku Nairobi, yes, na hakuna shamba. That is the biggest challenge we have. So the only thing we do, na utilize ile space kidogo hiko. Because the government is, unapata ina to encourage to to me to join agriculture because at least it is the backbone of our nation and also in Africa which are imekuwa neglected in Africa na pata watu they are taught that english is mandatory in color in class which na agriculture unapata imekuwa unaweza choose un, optional but english ni mandatory so after speaking english so what you need to eat and the food unapata in our country kuna ile siku kulikuwa na plenty of food so sasa hivi unapata we tunafika mali mpaka we are begging food from other nations which is not good so as a young farmer unapata we are trying to solve out that small problem that problem of food scarcity in our nation uh, in the best way possible that someone take my the small this part of land unapata inaweza accommodate a lot of animals because the way it is utilized unaweza wapo kuna kuna ngombe kuna proposal ya nguruwe pande ya chini so unapata with that you can solve a, food, a problem ya food lishe ni muhimu haswa kwa ngombe wa maziwa ili akupe maziwa mengi lazima umlishe chakula kitakachomfaa na umpe maji ya kutosha na chumvi kama vile Edwin alivyotusimulia kwa sababu eneo wanaloishi kuna vibanda vingi vya chakula imekuwa rahisi kupata chakula cha kutosha cha ngombe wao. Ngombe wetu tunawalisha twice per day, tunakuta morning na jioni. So basically tunawapatia food leftovers kutoka kwa soko, mpata kuna makabich, sukuma na mahindi, pizza za mahindi na saa zingine hiyo kwa miscobs. So hizo ndio zina feed mostly. Si ngombe tu. Yeye anajaribu kutumia kisehemu kidogo alichonacho vizuri. Mahali hapa pia yeye anafuga kuku wa kienyeji. Mbali na kuwauza wakiwa wazima, kuku hao wanampa mayai pia. Changamoto alionayo tu mahali hapa ni wezi haswa wa mayai. As I told you, unajaribu ku utilize the best way possible. Unajipata kama in Nairobi hakuna shamba. So we want to do more with the knowledge we have but you know the limitation is the space. So what we do is the available space we have unapata unajaribu ku squeeze ito shave it more because unapata the animals are interdependent. So nikuwa dairy mill 
maybe let's say, say nimekosa chakula ya kupea kuku niko na dairy mill yenye ngombe inafai kule so unapata ni kigawi ya kidogo unapata ime survive and ime grow inapata inakuwa profitable so unapata the same same kuku inakula greens so unapata the interrelate in sharing resources so unapata it is economical to rear more different type of animals in one area than one hapo awali alikuwa akifuga nguruwe lakini kwa kukosa ujuzi walikufa wote Hivi karibuni ananuia kurudisha ufugaji wa nguruwe pamoja na ngombe hao wa maziwa na kuku. Lakini changamoto nyingine ni hela. Lakini hilo halimrudishi nyuma. Anajua kutoka kwa ngombe hao alionao mtoto yake itatimia hivi karibuni. The biggest challenge is financial challenges. Unajua uwezi kwa in this nation not even the, in our nation lazima kuwe na title deed, lazima kuwe na wasewa na magari wenza kusimamia na loan ndio pate do capital ya kuanzisha ile project tunapata unapata you have big dreams you have big, big ideas but the only biggest challenge you cannot access the funds because ukienda kwa bank tu kwanza utakwambia let a title equivalent or more before even uangalizo chatel zingine utakwambia let a nini equivalent to or more to that amount that you want so unapata the biggest challenge we have is finances because unapata kama site kuna proposal tunataka kuweka nguruwe kurudisha nguruwe we have a big uh, space yenye inaweza tosha a lot more than 400 pigs chakula iko chakula in Nairobi there is a lot of food but the problem is the finances now the, all, that is the biggest challenge we have magonjwa pia ni kero lingine lazima uwe mwangalifu na mahali ngombe wako wanalala na chakula wanachokula pia ili kuzuia magonjwa na wadudu wengi lakini ni vyema kuwa na uzoefu wa kuwapiga dawa mara kwa mara ili kuangamiza kupe na wadudu wengineo ngombe wetu basically sisi tunaangalia sana mostly deworming na make sure tumapatia deworming sometimes some instances kuna zile uwezi zuia unapata tu imepata kama ka pneumonia unapata kama ka pneumonia so what we do is we call we have a vet who comes to access to assess the the ngombes and everything the nini uh, the ngombe kama iko na in case wa unataka AI anything so we have a vet specific vet mwenye anakujanga kuziangalia kilimo si kazi rahisi na vile vile si kazi ngumu lazima ujitolee na uwe tayari kuanza safari hii pata mafunzo na ushauri ufaao haswa kutoka kwa wizara ya kilimo watafiti na extension officers walioko karibu nawe na kazi itakuwa nywe my biggest advice is farming is not easy Unajua watu wana model farming wana brand very easily. Farming is not easy. It needs a lot of input and patience. But it is the most profitable if you choose the right line of farming. It is very profitable. So instead of wasting your time okay okay do okay you have do drugs and everything else you can do farming you can do farming don't look, wait for to patem to mfadhili mwenye atakupatia 10000 or anything kama unaweza ununua mbuzi moja nunua hiyo mbuzi itazaa who knows in the long run unaweza pata na mtu mwenye anataka kusaidia so atakupata kwa njia he will not find you sitting down so the problem with our use unapata wanataka they want to live large but they don't want to labor for it so my advice to them is work work now that you have energy you know you are time where is time goes napata una hiyo nguvu ya kufanya what you used to do kitambo now that you have energy now that you can risk risk that is the best advice i can give them risk do what you can now that you have the energy soon you will reap for it faida za kilimo na ufugaji nazo ni tele hata kwa kuangalia nyuso na maisha ya wakulima utabaini kazi hii ina manufaa kochokocho licha ya changamoto hapa na pale bora tu uwe mvumilivu na usife moyo benefits oh, imekuwa ime like now apart from now sa ile benefit kubwa imekuwa imekuwa financially imetusaidia imetusaidia sana imekuwa imetusaidia especially this time of corona unapata like somebody like me sim kulima peke yake i do other things I'm a professional face and body painter. So unapata like kutoka corona yanza na atakubali umunguze sura na corona mkono yako nini ameambua usiguze sura. So unapata you this imetusaidia sana imekuwa part of our living room kutoka corona yanze. So imekuwa beneficial to us. And also the biggest benefit also ime to keep busy. You know an idle mind is a devil's workshop. And uh, being in Madare, having lived in Madare, there is that nini kuna hiyo stigma yenye ukua youth lazima utumie drugs lazima udo drugs lazima ufanye kitu ndio kuwe cool 
So somebody like me, I can say I cannot boast that I'm unique, but I thank God that I grew here, but I don't do what other people do because being focused is what has made me be where I am. Being focused is what makes me move on, want to move on, want to do more. Edwin Aogope Kuchoka Wala Kuchafuka. Ili awe tofauti na vijana wa eneo lake ambao kadha ujihusisha na utovu wa nidhamu yeye kila kuchao huamka kuwatunza ngombe wake na kuku wake hata hivi karibuni ananuia kupanua kilimo chake na kuanza kilimo na ufugaji wa nguruwe na kama alivyosema kilimo ndio uti wa mgongo wetu kwa hivyo vijana tuamke na tujitume